Good day, viewers. My name is Wayford. Welcome to my eighth fortune tutorial. So, in this tutorial, I won't be talking about anything new. So, I'll just be doing. I've talked about if they do the select case statement, talked about the operators, I've talked about the nodes, the node, the and. So in this tutorial, I would be doing a lot of examples and everything. So let me start with um, the do loop. So let's say a uh, do a equals to one ten and one. to this will print out number one to ten so to print out an odd number number so you should start from one with difference of two and it should end at nine so you can see odd numbers one to nine if it were to be even we know it should start from two and let's change this to even numbers So that's the even numbers two, four, six, six, ten. So let's say we want to print the two together. Then let's declare a variable that will hold the b. Then it should be this one should be one with difference of two, and this one should be b. This one should be b equals um. Because a plus a plus one, then if this is this, then there should be a comma. So one, one, three, that's A, that's odd numbers, and B is this, okay? Mm, it is jam-packed. So you can see here, even number two, four, two, four, six, eight, ten, odd number one, two, nine. Let's give it a space here. So you can see even numbers two, four, six, eight, ten, and one to nine. So that's how to print out even and odd numbers at the same time. So let's move to another example. And I told you in the do statement that this is the starting point, this is the ending point, and this is the difference. So this B, so whenever, let me just explain this. So whenever B is equals to A plus 1, so whenever A is 1, then B is always an addition of 8, that's 1. So when a is 1, 
b will be 2 and this is jumping a difference of 2 so when this is 3 b will be 4 so that's just the simple explanation about this so, so let's do one more example maybe you want to print out the factorial of 10 numbers let's name this fact so that's print a the difference of 1 fact equals um, So if you are familiar with factorial then you will know that the factorial of 1 is still 1, factorial of 2 is 2, factorial of 3 is 3 multiplied by 2, factorial of 4 is 4 multiplied by 3, then so that's just it, depending on what you want to write. So this is just a simple way of writing a program to find the factorial of numbers. So I had to pause this to quickly write down this code. This is equal to to find the quadratic of a number. So the since we know um, the answer can actually be in real, then integer d this holding the value there. Okay, I get it. So we'll also this is the output root one and root two. You enter the value for a, you enter the value for b, you enter the value for c. So d is the discriminant. It's gonna if you are used with the um the formula of quadratic equation. So b for the discriminant that's b raised to power two minus four multiplied by four a c. So now if the discriminant is less than zero, then the root are imaginary, then the program should just stop. Else then it should continue and then solve this. So the output is um root one and root two. So let's just let's run this. You can see the code very well. So let's run this. Let's just give it an example. Oh, roots are imaginary, so maybe you just get it in a textbook to try that as an example. Then I'm sure it would actually give you the correct answer. So let me pause this to quickly write another program so I would save my time. So I talked about modulus uh, in my previous program and this is another function of the modulus so this program is just to swap an input let's say for instance we input 54 oh geez. we input 54 then the output would be 45 so let me explain how the program works when it accepts the value for a so b is the modulus of a divided by 10 so let's assume you are you input you input input 54 so the modulus of 54 is 4 I told you to bring the remainder so that's 4 so B equals to 4 so you get that so now F is now B multiplied by 10 so when this one multiplies it equals to 40 
so now C is now so C is now A divided by 10 and A is what? A is 54 A is equals to 54 so divided by 10 equals what? is 5 because it is not modulus it is just a normal amount it is 5 so now sum is equals to 40 plus 40 plus 5 equals what 45 so that is how we converted this 54 to 45 so this just so that's just how the program works so now let's build and run this so when you input 78 you get 87 so that is just how this program works so that's the end of this tutorial more examples in my next tutorial thank you peace